8. B-list celebs to our jerks and 7. To our sweethearts. B-listers. Where would our celebrity incest culture be without them? Not as idealized or untouchable as the A-list elite, they seem a little closer to reality, a little closer to us. When it comes to who ends up as a jerk for a sweetheart, fame can play a number of roles. Some of the selects on our list actually made it to the top of their game, at one time, that is. In fact, in some cases, their jerkish personality and widespread rumors of being difficult to work with seem to have sidelined a once promising career. In other cases, individuals who are genuinely nice and not obsessed with money or fame may be consciously foregoing the kind of fishbowl scrutiny and Hollywood competitiveness that would put them on the A-list. Here's a list of 15 who become notable for being either a jerk or a sweetheart, and it isn't always who you'd think. 9. Jerk Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis always had a bad reputation with media types. He would give them a hard time at interviews, even when he was supposed to be promoting a movie. In 2011, director Kevin Smith told the WTF podcast that he found working with Willis on Cop Out a soul-crushing experience. He made no secret of his feelings, even with other cast members and crew of the film. At the release party, he made the statement, I want to thank everyone who worked on the film, except for Bruce Willis, who is the F$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$$
Jennifer Love Hewitt was billed as America's sweetheart early in her career, and her winsome smile and other bodily assets seemed sure to guarantee her a permanent spot in the Hollywood star machine. After a string of successes, including the I Know What You Did Last Summer movies, and the Ghost Whisper TV series, her place seemed secure. But that was about to change beginning with the client list, which capitalized on her sexy persona. The series cast her as Riley Parks, the Texas housewife who becomes a spa attendant and who specializes in those happy endings in order to support her daughter and pay the bills. It seemed ideal for the undeniably attractive actress, but in the end, it was personality issues that scuttled both the series and her career. By 2013, both she and her character were pregnant, and producers of the show were cool with that. What they weren't cool with was her insistence that her real-life partner and co-star Brian Felicity play the baby's father on the show. Because she wouldn't compromise, the whole show was axed putting a lot of other people out of work, we'll note. In 2014, she failed to inform Criminal Minds showrunner that she was pregnant until the season had already started. She was getting slammed in gossip columns, and fans started to turn on her and what was criticized as a one-dimensional persona on screen. Where is she now? 13. Jerk, Terry Hatcher. It was during her starring turn in the hit TV series Desperate Housewives that rumors began to surface of Terry Hatcher's deviant-ish behavior. Exactly what went down is still a mystery, but by the end of the series run, her co-stars stayed away from her, and she was known to distance herself from not only her castmates but also the series that make her a star itself. It's particularly telling that, at the series end in 2012, the entire cast sent show creator Mark Cherry a gift as a token of their esteem, and Terry's name wasn't on the card. She did some movie work prior to Desperate Housewives, and she was Lois Lane than Lois and Clark from 1993 to 1997, but her career basically imploded after Housewives. 14. Jerk, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer, one of the biggest stars and box office draws during the 1980s and 1990s, has seen his prospects as an actor dwindle as his personality issues got in the way of success on the big screen. He probably reached his peak in 1995, when he starred as the Cape Crusader in Batman Forever. Director Joel Schumacher called him out as childish and irresponsible in interviews, and the movie was panned by critics. Well, next movie was The Island of Drive. Tomorrow, which is still legendary in Hollywood as an example of a production that went out of control, largely because of Kilmer's ego issues. Director John Frankenheimer went on the record as saying, I don't like Val Kilmer, I don't like his work ethic, and I don't want to be associated with him ever again. Personality, and being able to play nice with others, do matter, even in Tinseltown. 15. Jerk, Catherine Heagle. Catherine Heagle is a classic example of an A-list select who sank to the B-list, or even lower than that, because of her jerkish behavior. Catherine is blonde, beautiful, and talented as an actress. She made a name for herself on Grey's Anatomy, the hit TV series where she starred as Drive. Busy Stevens from 2005 to 2010. She left to capitalize on her growing popularity by getting into the movies, where just five years ago, her flicks, largely rom-coms like 2007 has not up, were averaging about $50 million per release. But by about 2012, rumors started to surface of personality issues, and her output began to decline drastically as more and more producers and directors refused to work with her. The recent direct-to-video release, Jenny's Wedding, earned a total of $4,704. What's the problem? Basically, diva fish demands like constantly demanding script changes, refusing to leave her trailer to get started filming, wardrobe demands, and the list goes on. Perhaps worst, from a Hollywood standpoint, is that her movies just didn't take off the way they were supposed to. 